Thinking about some of the women who have had an impact on my life and career, I have to say that my manager back in the 90s, Ivana Zizza, was such an inspiration to me as I took my first steps into management. Full of energy and drive, focused and enthusiastic, curious and keen to try new things, Ivana demonstrated all of the characteristics of a great leader. Our fellow BJL Blues Lady Darling Inspiration Twist. Tony's completely right. Me and Kerry for the longest time were just the only girls that were coming down to training regularly. As much as I loved it, I like e love it even more now. There's like six or seven of us that are regularly coming down and I keep trying to get more and more women down because it's lovely to have the community around us. And actually, in all fairness to the Blues as a whole, we've got a great community, like the guys included. So one of my close friends who retrained as a nurse um, in her 30s, and the work that she does is inspirational because she has a direct impact on the day-to-day -day life of so many people. She works in the community and she just takes it all in her stride. So thinking about some of the women that have had a positive impact on my life and my career, I guess I have to start with my mum. She had a huge impact on my life. Sadly, she died when I was relatively young, but even today, you know, there are sometimes decisions that I make where I think about situations when she would come home and talk about something that had happened in the office uh, that still have an effect on me today. Other women that have, have inspired me in my life. You know, I think about the women I work with inside BGL. There's, there's some amazingly inspiring women like um, Susie Cope in the company secretary, um, Hannah Chukai, um, Alison Lloyd who supports me. You know, very committed individuals who work really hard and, you know, tell me as it is and bring challenge. Uh, there was two women very early doors in my career, which was Ruth Harper and Tracy Healy. I was given a secondment um, when BGL took over our net insurance and for them to have faith and believe in us was a huge impact. I went from strength to strength in that and I've never looked back since. Miss Watland, my first speech therapist, who was with me from the age of five until ten. She was just one of those gregarious people who had lots of patience and was truly committed to what she was doing and actually made it personal. A lot of my friends and other women that I talk to, I think one of the things that you, you hear and see a lot is you tend to overachieve sometimes and you're so focused on being better. I've heard a lot of times you feel like you have to be better in order to prove yourself. And I think the reality is when Women can be very hard on themselves and set very high expectations and I think one of the things that I've learned is you know, always set high expectations, always strive for more, but don't be afraid and don't be hesitant to celebrate some of the things that you've done well. Uh, throughout my career I've been regarded as disruptive. Sometimes I'll go and shoot from the hip and not really think about the impact I'm having and I've had m many leaders who have been women who have helped me through that to actually think about what I'm doing, be more conscious about it, think about how to help people through that journey, understand what I should and shouldn't go for. People like uh, Cal Davis works in CTM, Amanda Garrett's been a great help for me, Helen Phipps. I work with closely with uh, Jane Lansdale and uh, Louise Plummer at the moment. All women that uh, I incredibly respect and appreciate uh, the advice that they've given me over the years just to help me to be where I am. I think without them being around, I wouldn't be able to be sat here. So I'm just super grateful for them.